Bro, Frederick coming at you with another video. Today I'm at the Cosmo. I haven't done a room review in quite a while. We've got a room here at the Cosmo. We're gonna go check it out. It's in the Boulevard Tower. Just did all the eating over at Wicked Spoon. We'll talk about that too. We'll talk about the whole experience of staying here at the Cosmo. And we'll get into it right after this. All right, so let's take a walk over to the room and I'll flash some video I took over at the brunch. I ate all the bacon. <laughs> of course I did. You guys know the Cosmo, so I might fast forward through this. We'll head on up to the room and we'll go scope it out. There are a few comments I'll make. It is, uh, everyone wants to know, where are the balconies in Vegas? This room has a balcony, but I'll show you what it's overlooking. <laughs> it's not exactly what we anticipated. We, when I say myself and business partners, but cool nonetheless, but we're gonna go check that out together. So I'm probably gonna put this into overdrive to spare you the walk, because you've probably already seen all this. I am coffeeed up. I am ready to start my day. It is a beautiful Saturday here on the Las Vegas Strip, and I hope you enjoy the video. I've never actually eaten that egg slot, but it seems to be popular. White tea, you know the context of what I just said. There it is. Bam. Okay, so here we are. You'll notice by the echo. Greeted with a little unique artwork, as is typical for the Cosmo. They try to get that erotic theme going on here. This is a one-bedroom suite, and this here is the bathroom. Let's check it out. Spacious. I'll give it that. Ah, let me say hello. What up, people? <laughs> I kind of dig the finish. You got the spa tub over here. I mean, honestly, I'm not really thrilled about the whole shower curtain thing in the grand scheme of things. I mean, this isn't a holiday inn. They could put a piece of glass in there if they wanted to, but let's be honest. But it's finished nicely. Yeah, not to 
thrilled about that. But it's clean. I gotta tell you, it is clean. Wonder what's in the bag. What's in the bag? <laughs> uh, oh, they, they did a fancy knot. Let's see. Is this like a sack of chips they're gonna give? Come on. blow dryer. I do not need a blow dryer, <laughs> in case you haven't noticed. All right, more uh, leaning into the erotica here. Got like a, what is that, like three quarters of an inch of butt crack over there. That, no idea, is your seating area. I like when they put coffee table books on the freaking coffee table. What is this? Art and place. Cool, cool. One TV over here. All right. Oh, we got more interesting photography going on. Crazy dog, what up? Don't touch this stuff. If I if I touch this, if I touch it, it's gonna cost me like thirty bucks. <laughs> I'm not even gonna touch the freaking corkscrew. All right, I might even have to pay to open these cabinets. You never know these days. Got the mini fridge. A lot of them do charge for use of the mini fridge. I don't know about this place. Find out when we get the bill. Oh, oh, a bottle of water. I like the desk area. I'm gonna set up a couple monitors, get business done. Me and my awesome business associates will make all the freaking ducats. And would you say that's a king? Not sure. It might be a king. You know what's a neat feature? Check this out. This is kind of clever. I might have to get one of these. Press that. Bonk. Got a little reading light activity there. Like you're going to do much reading in bed. I like the globe. I mean, I, I'm not a huge fan of this wallpaper, I'll be totally honest. A little freaking dated. I have not jumped on the bed yet. Oh, they got those soft feather pillows. Some of you people I know probably like feather pillows. I am not a fan. You need like 19 of them, and you wake up still with a freaking headache. I do, however, like benches at the foot of the bed. I have one myself at mine, in my place. Quite freaking convenient. And you got another TV over here. I personally, if I was going to design this place, I would have put the bigger one over here because I'm more apt to watch a show before bed on a bigger screen. Closet. Oh my god, the wallpaper. <laughs> Frightening. Yikes. Ah, yeah, but again, leaning into the erotica theme. But it's got the typical stuff in there. Ironing board. Pro tip, hang your clothes in the bathroom and put the water on hot and let it steam out itself. Let's check out this one real quick. And of course, you have your typical... Safe, complimentary slippers, all that type of good stuff. But there is something I want to show show you that I made mention of. I'm keeping my voice down because of the echo that I did make mention of. The location and the balcony situation. So let's go check that out. You ready? You're going to be like, what the actual F? And I, I have not found... An electronic button to open and close these. So I'm assuming it's manual. So let's manualize this. You see where we are? Let's a whole bunch of light in the room. But you ready to see where we are? Check this out. Freaking yikes. <laughs> All right, let's open this. Ugh. I, I can't even go out there from the loudness of the music. I'm going to mute it and we'll go over. But check this out. You are lit in this room, which is uh, on the 15th floor. 
you're actually overlooking the pool on this side. So if that's going to bother you, if the noise is going to bother you, I would definitely ask where I'm going to be. I do not want to be on the, this is an east facing room. You do not want to be on this side where the pool is. Just saying, if it doesn't bother you, who cares? But we are literally overlooking the pool. You might get some views later on as the ladies come out. I mean, if guys are your things, maybe that too. However, it is loud. It is, I'm actually backing up. Because the music is penetrating into the room that deep. And I don't want to get copyright claims from whoever the actual F this is. But this goes on until, I think, 2 in the morning plus. But you could say, hey, bro, Frederick, uh, I don't really care because I'm going to be out partying. Or I might be at the pool. Cool. I'm not saying no. But if you think you're going to relax in this room and get some work done, which that's what I plan on doing, just be aware of that situation so like i said i'm probably gonna have to mute right now but let me give you the actual view I mean, the, the glass does provide some sound insulation, but it, let me, trust me, let me tell you, it is loud out there. And if you notice, I did uh, attempt to pick that up, and I mean, they're not the cleanest things. They can come and clean them once in a while. But these freaking things, why people are not throwing them off the balcony from the 30th floor, is they weigh a couple hundred pounds. This probably... I don't know, they're probably built on concrete or something. They probably have some form of concrete in there. It is freaking heavy AF. And the wind isn't going to take them either. Let me see, is it down to 60 yet in here? That's like one of the first things I do. Oh, it's on 66. All right, that's not too bad, but we'll get it down to 59. And what I was saying before about hanging your clothes so you don't have to freaking iron them. Is you just take, I, one day I'll teach, oh, I think I did an episode on how to properly pack for travel. But if you hang your shirts and whatever over there, and you put this water on hot all the freaking way, it'll steam. It'll take all the wrinkles out. It might be a little damp, in which case you could put them outside for a second. But yeah, that's how you do it. Pro tip. All right, everyone. I got, I'm going to do my unpacking. I got to do all the stuff. Um. This is only like my second or third stay here at the Cosmo, but it should be fun. I'll let you know if anything else interesting happens. If anything else, uh, any thoughts or ideas pop up, I'll just pop them on the screen. But I'm telling you, it's going to be interesting with the pool out. People aren't even at the pool yet. They're probably all sleeping in from last night. However, I'm excited. I hope you enjoyed the room tour. And I'm going to invite you to like, share, subscribe. Boom, hit that bell button to get notified when I do this again, which is at least five times a week and if you're on a sports channel check out all my links and check out my stream my live streaming platform over at heybrofrederick.com that's where we talk about everything raw and freaking 
uncensored. All the stuff we can't talk about here. You know what I'm talking about. And do all the stuff. But definitely hit the bell button and join the Bra Nation. I love you guys. And on that note, Bra Frederick out. Sure it sound right, boys.